In this video you'll discover powerful leadership tips and strategies to motivate and inspire your people to bring out the best in them. Be the boss people want to give 200% for. Catch people doing things right and then let them know that they are doing things right. Use feedback to stay informed about what other people are doing in your area of responsibility and authority. Have regular, focused meetings regarding the projects that you are responsible for. Expect others to succeed. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy when you believe others are loyal, dedicated and doing a good job. Do not avoid talking to a poor performer. It hurts them, the organization and yourself if the situation is not dealt with. Manage by walking around. See what people are doing and listen to what they have to say. Provide workers with open, direct, and immediate feedback on their actual performance as compared to expected performance and they tend to correct their own deficiencies. Practice naive listening. Don't talk, just let people explain why they are doing the types of things that they are doing. You will learn many things. Manage by exception. When things are going well, leave them alone. When a problem occurs, then help. Never seek to place blame. Always focus on the problem. Never ignore a concern of one of your people. While it may seem trivial to you, to the other person it is a problem that will continue to destroy their train of thought. Make it a personal rule and a challenge to respond to someone within 24 hours of hearing their request. Give employees an opportunity to speak their opinions and suggestions without fear of ridicule or reprisal. When you are going to make a change that affects others, get them involved before making the actual change. This increases commitment to make the change work after it is implemented. Smile. It helps you feel better and is contagious. The whole organization shudders when the boss is frowning. Likewise it smiles when the boss does. Work with each person to create standard operating procedures for their specific job. It will eliminate repetitious questions. Let people know why they are doing something. It then becomes more meaningful when they recognize their part in a greater vision. Practice the golden rule in business, do unto others the way you would have them do unto you. Fairness will then be in your business. Giving people recognition generates energy within them. They will then direct that energy toward increased productivity. Tap the potential of those working for you by giving them opportunities to think things through for themselves instead of just telling them how to do something. Always give people the benefit of the doubt. They may not be the cause of a problem. The cause may be beyond their control. Admit it when you do not know the answer to a question posed by a staff member. Then challenge the staff person to research and decide what the best answer is. It will help this person grow. When you appreciate what someone has done, let them know and put it in writing. This can then be added to their personnel file. Encourage periods of uninterrupted activity such as a daily quiet hour in your department or work group. The boss is the strongest model the employees have. Be a positive model as people are watching to see how you behave. They will reflect this in their own behavior. Lead by example. Encourage your people to come up with new ideas and ways to do things. Give them credit and recognition for the idea. If a new idea won't work, at least praise the effort of the person so they will come up with future ideas. Once a month meet with each staff member to catch any problems or concerns the person may have as soon as possible before they become a crisis. Generally speaking, getting something done perfectly is usually not as important as getting it done. Perfection has a high cost and it may not be worth it. When giving or receiving information, don't hurry. Take the time needed to truly understand. It prevents future problems and misunderstandings. Never criticize an employee in front of others. Have all discussions of a corrective nature in private. 
flaring in anger will drive others away, if not physically at least mentally. Low morale in workers may be an indication of the boss only talking about negative things or what's wrong. Be sure to balance negative comments with more frequent positive comments. Encourage individuals to compete against themselves to achieve more. Let it be a personal challenge to become better as an individual not competing with others but self. Check the ratio of positive comments to negative comments that you make to your people. Purposely make more positive comments. Do things for others. They will be more willing to do things for you. Let people know that you know they can do it. Ask questions creatively so the action to be taken is suggested by the person who is to take it. Ask others for their estimate of how long it will take to do a project. When possible, agree and hold them accountable for that goal. Just as with family members, break large chores up into small, fun activities and enjoy doing them with team members. Do not be quick to judge others. Learn to listen carefully before coming to conclusions. Inspire others to new levels of achievement by using positive encouraging feedback and ideas. Do not be a babysitter of others, constantly taking care of them and telling them what to do. Challenge them and help them learn to think and do things for themselves. Don't do what you can get someone else to do by simply asking. For people you relate to regularly, keep a list of things you need to talk to the person about. Then when you meet with or call them, you can review all the items that have accumulated on your list. Recognize you are not the only one who can do a job right. Trust others to do things for you. Don't worry about who gets the credit for completing a project. Focus on the task to be accomplished and do it. When credit is given to you for completion of a project, be sure to give it to all who are involved. This will nurture the relationships and provide motivation to support you in the future. Keep a list of birthdays, marriage and work anniversaries and other special dates. Provide recognition to your people on each of these dates. Mark your calendar prior to the actual date so you have time to prepare for it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments section below.